Hey guys, in this video, we are going to create the header here in Elementor from an Adobe XD design. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we want to do is create a section with three columns. And we are going to increase the width of this column of this section to one, two, five, zero. And then the first column, we want to give it a column width of 25. The second column, 62. And then the third column can have what is left. In the first column, drag in your image. Click on it and select the image you'd like to use. In this case, I'm using the Nike logo. Align it to the left. In the width, give it a 55% width. Okay. A second column, drag in a nav menu. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your menu right here. But in our case, we haven't created ours yet. So let's do that right now. Go to your WordPress dashboard, hover over Appearance tab, and then click on Menus. Now, create a new menu by clicking on this link right here. Give your menu a name. In this case, I'll just call it Nike Sneaker. And then click on Create Menu. So because this is a landing page, we will be using a custom link. And I'll show you the reason why later on in this series. So stay tuned. You hit the subscribe button so you get notified as soon as I upload the upcoming videos on this same Adobe XD series. So right here where it says URL, just put in a hashtag for now. Then the first menu is about. Click on add to menu. And then let's see the other menus we have on the original design. Okay, we have the features, colors, design, reviews, and products. So we want to add another one. Features. Then next one, color. And then the next one, reviews. and the next product. Now that we are done with this, let's click the save menu. Now come back to your Elementor tab. Click on update. And then reload the tab. Once it loads up, click on the nav menu and then select the new menu you've just created from this drop down. Okay, we can't see anything now because the color is set to white and the background is white, but don't worry. Now align the menu to the right. Where it says pointer, click on it and select text. The animation, let's make it float. Okay. Now from the mobile menu, toggle on the full width. 
align it to the center and then toggle align it to the right now let's go to the style menu in the typography click on it the font family make it Mont Serrat let's give it a color first in this case we are giving it a color of 4e 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 now go back to the typography increase the font size to 12 set the weight to 600 and then transform to uppercase okay now go back to the column and vertically align to the middle do the same for the other two columns now come back to the nav menu and on the style tab let's do one or two tweaking okay go to the hover menu and let's give this a color of 0, 05 Four eight and five eight. Copy this color and then on the activate on the active tab, paste in the same color. Okay. Now on the drop down menu, go down and see where you see responsive mode, click on mobile. Okay. Now on the normal, give it a text color of 282828. In the background, give it a color of F6, F6, F6. In the hover tab, give it a text color of F6, F6, F6. And in the background color, give it a color of 282828. Now let's see what we have. I'm going to click on the hamburger menu and this is what we've just done. Now on the vertical padding, increase it to 15. And this is what we have. Okay. Let's close that. Now go to the toggle, the toggle button, on the normal color, give it a color of F6, F6, F6. On the background color, give it a color of 282828. Increase the size to 25, the border width to 0, and then the border radius 0. Now while on the mobile version, let's hide the third column. So click on the third column, come down to advanced, and under responsive, click toggle on hide on mobile. Now let's reduce the size of the column. The first column where you have your logo, let's give it a 
and then on the second column let's make it 40 percent click on the image and align it to the left click on the nav menu the toggle button and in the content align it to the center now increase the column width to 50 and decrease the column width of the logo to 50. Click on the menu and then align it back to the right. Now let's go back to the PC version, the desktop version. And now let's drag in a button to the third column. Let's change the name to buy now. And let's align it to the right. Now where it says icon, click on icon library. And then search for bag. Select the bag and then click insert. The icon position is before, leave it at that. And then increase the icon spacing to 10. Go to the style tab. Change the font family to Montserrat in typography. Decrease the size to 12%, 12 pixel. The weight 600 and transform uppercase. Now for the text, let's give it the color of F6, 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 and the background color of ED, ED, ED. Activate the borders type, make it solid and then give it a one pixel all around. Unlink the border radius to make everything zero. Unlink the padding and give it a padding top and bottom of 10 and right and left 20 pixel. Now let's see what we have. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, moving forward. Let's go back to the tablet version. And now, let's edit the nav menu. So go to the star, click on drop down. Let's also drop down right here so we can see what we are doing and now let's increase the vertical padding to 15 okay now click on the toggle button increase the size to 25 and the border width 0 and the border radius zero as well. Now go to the second column, give it a width of 55, and the third column, give it a width of 17. Let's update it and preview it on another tab. Okay guys, so this is what we have presently right now. Let's inspect and see the other versions. So this is the mobile version and as you can see, it is responsive. Now let's see the tablet version.
this is the tablet version and as you can see as well it is awesome okay guys so this is it for today's video stay tuned subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as i drop the next video that will be the hero section right here so on to the next video i will see you guys again peace